Hello, anybody, somebody, nobody, whoever may never see this. This is Zero Three Dogs Under Faust, the whiff. Come back at you some more. Warhammer 40k. Be showing off the corn demon army that I've made. Um, it's pretty nice. I like all four demon armies currently. I'll be making the videos for all those. Yellow Scribe went down right as I was finishing Slanash, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait for them to fix that, and then I can do the Slanash one. Or if it takes too long, I'll just do it without it. But without further ado, here's Blood Letters. I mean, uh, corn, but it is also basically Blood Letters. So, you're going to have a Battalion Patrol Detachment, 2k corn. Uh. Starting with two CPs, you're gonna get uh, that is nah. You're gonna have three bloodthirsters with great axes, and then one of them is gonna be your warlord. And then overall six ten man squads of blood letters. And I'm gonna say this now in all the demon videos, they just have the free war gear because why not? Um, a skull taker and a red master. Uh, now the bloodthirster with stuff on him. Here we go. He's going to have Brazen Hide, and he's going to have Blood Drinker Talisman. And he's going to have Relentless Carnage, because I believe that's one of the upgrades they can do. No. Crap. Do you have an upgrade? Indomitable Onslaught is what they, he has. Um, so he can't you lose more than eight wounds in a single phase. And then Blood Drinker Talisman. Each time you fight, after resolving the attack, roll d6 for each enemy model destroyed. And then on a 5 up, you gain the lost wound up to 6 in each fight phase. And then brazen hide. Each time you lose a wound on a 5 up, it's not lost. So he is very tanky, which is very nice. Charger up to center. You get your two rows. So you have a three lane split, which is pretty cool with this army. And then you could do the. Or you could just do a two lane split or group it because the Ren Master and Blood Throne. And the Skull Taker will give buffs as well. This will give them plus one to the hit roll and reroll wounds. And then this will give uh, sixes auto hit, but this is going to be one. Um, also reroll wound roll. And then the Blood Thirsters nearby give them a reroll hit roll. And Blood Others be slapping. AP 3, flat 2, strength 5. Hello. So that's very nice. Um, and they're going to be hitting on twos, rerolling. Very nasty melee army. Uh, I'm aware that these are the wrong models. I don't think the new models are in Battle Forge yet. I could be mistaken. But technically, it's the same flipping base. It's just the Bloodthirsters charging this way, vertical, uh, I'd say long lengthwise. And so, you know, but because of how 40k plays, it doesn't matter if they're sideways or not. So it effectively basically works. So it's no issue, really. Um, yeah. On a funny side note, I guess, I think uh, there's just so many quote-unquote masters, and I think they're kind of deceptive. Um, if you don't want to run this many big guys, you could honestly, no shit, ditch two bloodthirsters. I just get a shit ton more blood letters. Like, they are good. They are good. They are quite worth bringing. Um, I think this is a list where it is totally reasonable to do that. I just like how good the Bloodthirsters are. Like, 8 attacks, and then they have the Hellfire Breath, and their melee just slaps. It's so good. Um, I've always been kind of addicted to running uh, big elites. And the thing is, is they're, they're 12-inch movement. So all you need to do, since they're 20 wounds, is attempt to hide them behind something. They won't benefit from obscuring. But as long as you can hide their base, you're good. So you can still attempt to do that. Uh, oh, wait, no, no, what am I saying? Um, you just have to put them far away. Blech. Yeah. Honestly, this would be worth considering running, like, far more, like, blood letters. Like, out of curiosity, let me just tank some of this. And then... Yeah, if you remove those two bloodthirsters, you have so many more points to spend. Uh, I don't think the soul grinder is worth it for this army. Ironically, the Soul Cannon is pretty flippin' funny. Um, but you can't bring enough to make it work. I do think it's very funny, though. Soul Cannon is a cannon with melee option. Quite funny. Um, uh, yeah, you'd have to just bring some other flippin' 
bloodthirster. Like you could bling, bling. Uh, what? Scarbrand. Oh, there's not gonna be enough ways for me to put in extra points. No. Um, cringe. So you could take out two Bloodthirsters, put in Scarbrand, and bring two more Bloodletter squads. And that's just fine. And again, he's even buffing them as well. Uh, which is very nice. But he doesn't have Fly, and he only moves 8 inches. Uh, I feel like he's a trap. I would not do it. He, he's a great what if. Like, oh my god, well, this, 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 and this. But like, they, the regular Bloodthirsters, have a better chance to actually get into melee. Because they have four extra inches of movement, they can, uh, they're the same toughness as him. He's just two more wounds, but they can fly, um, so that just gives them a multitude of options. He just doesn't bring enough to the table to kind of warrant that, um, I feel like. His save isn't better, his weapon skill gets bad just like theirs does, and yeah, he's better in melee, like, that's not counting the upgrades if you could do give the other guys but again that's if when he gets in it's just it's too much of a what if game I think this gives you more options for two less wounds you get a lot more to work with to make it feasible for your army and again you could do these and do a lot of fun options uh, more blood letters just run another HQ it's cheaper and three blood letters and boom there's your battalion or you could bring like some more character killer -y guys but yeah the I just, I'm a huge fan right now of the blood letters. They're just so perfect where they need to be. Um, and you could run skull cannons too, but I think that'd actually be a waste. It's a bit of a meme pick. You could bring a lot of artillery with corn, but I would not recommend that. Uh, and the demons don't have their own, uh, they don't have their own special rules now. They just get the warp storm things they can do. So you can do the corn ones. Uh, I'm not going to go for all those and the stratagems, which is going to save me time. But yeah. Uh, oh, I do like also the Red Master and Blood Throne. He's the perfect little nine wounds. So even though he's a vehicle, he's getting lookout, sir. Very funny. Necron Lord, uh, Necron uh, Overlord on Catacomb Command Barge would approve of this. <laughs> uh, yeah, and he's gonna be just kicking ass, taking names. Yeah, this is this is quite nasty. Orcs wish, orcs wish they were what this is. <laughs> in my opinion um yeah this like is probably uh, i'm just i'm not done yet this is probably one of the few armies if you really wanted to we know you get capped out fuck where you could just bring like i don't see the thing is is like i want even more blood letters i wish i could combine them bring the 30 again just I just want the Bloodthirster, and then either the Rendmaster or Skull Taker. I don't care. And then everything else would be Bloodletters, and honestly, this would be a good Horde army. Boy, you're actually capped because of the troop. <laughs> the troop cucks you. Ah. That'd be worth exploring. Without further ado, uh, if you like the content, like, share, subscribe. Comment down below. I like good constructive feedback or saying hello. Um, and I'll have this and other lists posted between today and tomorrow. An update on my Google Drive to include the slash, even though I won't have the video out for a bit, possibly. Uh, take care and game on, gamers.